All right, guys, welcome back to some more Dying Light 2. Now, uh, last stream, the, it was the day that the update dropped, um, you know, came out with the guns. They had some graphical overhauls, uh, two other little changes. On top of everything else that previously came out, you know, Dying Light 2 has definitely entered the realm of pretty much what we all hoped it would be when it first came out. You know, the nights are just like the first game, scary as hell. Pretty much everybody's back to skipping them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's uh, It feels good, though. The nights, the good. Um, the world's populated with zombies. There were some parts, you know, when the game first came out, you'd walk around like the big city, and there just was no zombies anywhere. It was, it was pretty crazy. Um, but it's, 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 it's definitely a way way better feeling game everything about the combat the parkour it's it's all better it, it, it really is so um last episode we jumped in we checked out the update uh we, we got a gun um that they kind of are giving everybody right now it's the free haran pistol as long as you log into the game from now until the seventh i believe it is um you just get the gun for free in your stash along with some bullets now um we jumped on last episode i did like a new game plus from like where I left off previously and my character was quite boosted as you know we had a bunch of armor we had you know all my weapons from the previous playthrough uh so what I'm doing here is we're kind of just going to start the game from the beginning I, I, I might carry on from that playthrough we'll, we'll see we're going to we're going to start from the beginning here I kind of want to see what the update feels like with a from a fresh fresh like you know viewpoint and then we'll kind of compare it to see how the game feels see how the gun feels in the early game um if we, uh, i'm pretty sure we should have access to it access to it but yeah you know pretty much feel how the gun feels in the early game um and, and go from there as you guys know i am playing on hard difficulty so I, the zombies and stuff are a little bit more tanky than they usually are uh, we take a lot more damage than usual but uh yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it feels, guys. We'll see how it feels. So remember, if you guys do want more Dying Light 2, smash that like button. It's the best way to let me know that you guys are enjoying the content. Um, I know that, you know, we played this a few times on the channel, like full-blown playthroughs. And uh, so I'm not going to push the, the envelope too far. You know, if you guys don't want to see another one, hey, it is what it is. We'll move on. But if you guys do, the best way to let me know is, like I said, smashing that like button, leaving comments, subscribing, doing all that stuff is the best way to let me know that you guys actually want to see some more of this. So... <clears throat> uh, new content based on the Dying Light 1 game character Fatim and his brother the scientist and the following will be added to the game oh shit oh Risa thank you thank you man I appreciate you for letting me know that man and uh, Trigger thank you so much for the 19 months man loving this game playing again with the new update loving the streams I appreciate you brother alright so let's let's get this going guys let's get this going Um, even without the guns flashy, this uh, I'd say from the last update where they fixed knights, uh, this game is definitely uh, I I, I would put it up there with Dying Light One easily. Yeah, now the game's really good, man. Uh, really, really good. So here we go, anniversary celebrations again. We're gonna get access to that handgun, but we gotta we gotta make it to town before we even get that gun. So, fifteen years after the fall, baby. The life of a pilgrim, man. You still got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. And <laughs> you used to be younger. And dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. Yeah, a dead pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. <clears throat> Ed, well, I hope you enjoyed yourself, brother. So there is no new DLC, Salem. Uh, the DLCs already came out like a while ago. This is a overhaul to like, they added new things like weapons. Like there's guns in the game now. They like, 
Um, there are missions tied to the guns and, and bounties and things like that. That you. Uh, You're still strong. Uh, but yeah, the the new things that they added affect the whole game in its entirety. Yo, my dude is weak as shit. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. It's so crazy, man, because Spike, like, in the first game, going? really wasn't all that. You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. How you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. So getting resources. I believe that's how you make heals. Yeah, this will do. You remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh yeah, the one that had that saying. Uh, remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you. You just might go on living. All right, yeah, so we can now craft uh, the heels. I can do two of them. Face with the two <laughs> years, holy crap! I, I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a great night tonight. Damn it, locked. I'll try to get through here. You right. check the other side. Yeah, we gotta go around the side here. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we don't have any weapons at all. Just our bare hands. I don't know if we can open these. Of course it is. You know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. What the fuck? I, 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 I never understood that part. You know, he just starts. He's just like, oh yeah, yeah. you got you spooked the rats. I got, I got, I got to go, dude. I can't be around you anymore. It's like what? Spike, I got to get away from you, bro, because you're acting sus.
No, nothing here. No, yeah, we played we played Pacific Drive on the channel. I played it back in its beta form, or when, the demo or whatever. Party. It was really cool. Uh, but by then, the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. Five years later, who remembers Haran? Makes me want to go back and play Dead Island. Uh, Dead Island. I seen somebody put uh, Dying Light One. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. Mm. Sounds familiar, Chad, doesn't it? And that's what they called art? I still enjoyed Dead Island 2. It was so good. I personally like Dead Island 2 more than Dead Island 1. Uh, it was just a lot fun. I mean, the story in 1 was a bit... Nada. Zip. A bit better, I guess you could say, but everything else about two was phenomenal. I'm super dead, dude. to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky, too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. The early game like this... Uh, when you're playing on the harder difficulty, resources are quite scarce for those guys who haven't played this game. Uh, so when you're playing on hard, you definitely want to make sure you're going around looting as much as you can. That way you can afford upgrades. Because if not, you're gonna just you're gonna be pretty short on parts and stuff. Because you actually got to go out and do and loot in this game if you want to upgrade your stuff completely. You're gonna be constantly looking for resources. And they nerf the traders in the harder difficulty too. They had each other. She was classy. <laughs> not even, not even a real floaty jet, in, in in a fountain. Because I wouldn't even say this is a pool. I, I'm, I'm the rescue thing. Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. Nothing. Is 
Sit down, buddy. You just told me you want nothing to do with me, right? For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's so sus that, that that's considered a good weapon in this day and age for these it's guys. Going flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. Alpha, well, thank you so much for the super chat. We're doing good, man. We're doing good. Hey, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right. But you owe me one. Uh, not just one. Yes, yeah, sir, how you doing? So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. <laughs> I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that Waltz, what's his deal? Is he family? No, not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah, yeah, one day. Well, <sighs> my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy, or whoever you're looking for. I wonder how they even keep in touch with each other. And remember, 140.200 megahertz at dawn. The guy's waiting for you. What games am I looking forward to coming out this year? Um, Dragon Dogma 2, the new Star Wars game from Ubisoft. Um, the hell is the other one there? Those are like two of the real big ones I'm, I'm looking forward to. There's no jumping over that. Yeah, 
I mean, I, the thing about like comparing Dying Light One, like when for, Dying Light Two first came out, Dying Light One was easily the more superior game, like easily. Um, I think still Dying Light One with the following DLC, with the following DLC, you got to, you got to remember it's Dying Light One with the following DLC. I I feel is the more superior game. Um, but if you were to put base Dying Light 1 versus base Dying Light 2, I would have to give it to Dying Light 2. But the, the following DLC for Dying Light 1 absolutely just was, it was so top tier. Like the following DLC, in my opinion, shit all over the base game of Dying Light 1. It was so, it was so good. They added the little buggy. There was a vehicle. It was just, it was, it was fire, man. Okay, so we got our first weapon here. Let me actually switch that control back. Did I not save? I don't think I saved. Of course, I didn't save. There we go. You ready, bro? How you want to do this? Okay, I don't think my... I keep doing it. Yeah, that's straight up. I don't I don't remember that being in the game with a skill. I love it. It's so brutal, man. So not a whole lot of loot on these guys. Oh, we got another weapon. Plumbing hammer. Yeah, they definitely took like they definitely implemented some of that gore that we've seen in like Dead uh, Dead Island 2 that I just and and they they implemented it in this for sure cuz it used to not be this gory. That's it for loot in here. Yeah. 
scores a few updates ago. Yeah, it feels really good. Him. Uh, true winner, I pretty much finished every quest in Dead, Dead Island 2. Yeah, there wasn't there wasn't much that I didn't finish. Um, there was like some of the like challenges that I didn't do, but uh, we even went back through and did the DLC. I, I almost 100 percent at that game. We had to get up top here. Do I like watching gore? I mean, I don't like specifically like go out of my way to like watch gory things, but <clears throat> the game feels good. Stamina. Forgot all about the climbing stamina. Scrapper's Great Axe? That was a pretty good weapon just sitting there, man. On the ground. Now, the only thing is, I don't know how slow this weapon's gonna be. It, could, it might be a very, very slow attacking weapon. I, I didn't mind using the swords, because they were pretty good. Uh, they're, and they were fast, but they were still two-handers. Damn, there's a lot of zombies in here. Holy crap. Whole horde in here. See, there's nothing looting lootable here, so goal is to just move quickly and quietly. Yeah, I feel like the guns and uh, the, the handgun, at least in the early game, will definitely have a way different feel to it um, in, a in a fresh playthrough compared to where I was playing. Uh, because I, I was so, my all the weapons I had were so specced out that the handgun couldn't even compete with anything. Um, you know, because I had those special weapons, the legendaries. 
and I had none of the uh, upgraded guns, so it'll be nice to see how the handgun fits into the the early game. If it feels powerful, if it feels weak, we'll see. Paul, you said this game's hard for you to watch. Hey, man, you know what's crazy is uh, the first day this game ever came out, um, I was streaming, and it actually made me motion sick on live stream. Like, I got dizzy. I was feeling like crap. I was like, oh, my God. Um, I had the FOV way too sucked in. And for dying late games, I, I generally have the FOV pulled, pulled almost to max because, yeah, if I if not, the way the camera and the, the movement is, it, it makes me feel kind of like weird, too. Um, and games generally don't make me feel motion sick, but this is one of the games that actually did, which was kind of weird. That was like the tutorial kick off the ledge, zombie. <laughs> Later, bro. <laughs> the fuck was that? Another one walked off the ledge? Nice, got a skill. Almost there. somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. The broadcast station should be here somewhere. I don't even know if this weapon, like I said, we gotta be careful with this damn, ooh, another weapon there. Raggedy chopper, let me see. So right now we have this, which is 18, 15, 21 on that. And then the raggedy chopper was only 13, but slashing. 25 slashing. 15 blunt, 21 blunt. I love the fact that we can now repair weapons, too. Someone moved them. Not long ago. It's been moved. Handprint there. Okay, let's give it a try. This is it. The broadcast station. I gotta start the generator. One-handed machete. So I think we that's probably stronger than... Yep, it is stronger than that. So we got some pretty crap weapons so far, but... I'm wondering if this will count as a stash. We might be able to get our gun out of it right away. What the? 
What the hell is that? <laughs> I forgot about this fight, man. Some enemies power attacks do we gotta dodge those. Dodging too late or what? Nope. Okay, we got her. We got her. Okay, now we can focus on these dudes. with your arm. We started over just to see how the update feels uh, from a fresh game perspective. I don't know if I'll continue the the, the, the fresh playthrough. It kind of just depends on what, by the end of this, I'll let you guys determine. You know what? What do you want to see? What do you want me to um, keep playing it? Period. Do you want me to continue playing it from the new game plus, or do you guys want to continue seeing it from the fresh perspective? No, this should be the side that... Yeah, this is the side you guys want me on. Not, you don't want me on the other side. Because then I'm, like, in front of the weapon and it's, like, awkward. Um, like, yeah, I'm, I have the immersive HUD on anyway, so the little thing behind me, you'll barely ever be able to see it because it goes away um, because I turned the HUD off. Yeah, I should have tried out that damn... Uh, Two-handed axe, too. It's all locked. Alright, so now we got our stash here. Now I want to check these weapons real quick. Um, so I think I'll keep these three. Alright, and then we'll dismantle this one. We'll dismantle this one. Now let me check this. Uh, Yep, there's our gun. Oh, so you can't pick up the gun yet, chat, until you, uh, until you probably finish the prologue.
You won a round A blaster. Hey, congrats, man. Now, nah, those of you guys that went over there, I hope you guys had a good time. Aiden, Aiden Papa Aiden. Are we running or what? But, like, now? No, when we old. <laughs> no, Aiden. We need supplies. <laughs> Everything's ready. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> You're stupid. Let's go. Now. Yeah, no, Max, I don't Shh. die, Shred, bro. It'll be all right. That's Crane's thing, man. I can't can't be intruding on his on his thing. You know what I mean? Wait here. That doctor does seem like an asshole, man. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought twelve, three, four, six? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Baby, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. I know. It's so crazy how Aiden had this twisted ass remembrance of her. Do what I tell you. Jesus. Even if they separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. Uh, Aiden! Not him, no! Mia! Aiden! Now, some of you guys were, uh, somebody said last episode that they changed the GRE uh, anomalies. Dr. Waltz, we won't make it. The military will be here any moment. Wait. Close your eyes. Volatiles being resurrected at the last level. Yo, that's impossible, Risa. You can't even fight Volatiles. That's the that's the thing, man, is you can't even fight a Volatile. At least early game, like, like it's impossible, guys. Like, don't even I try. to contact the guy Spike was talking about. They will absolutely destroy you. Oh, uh, what that was the Hertz? I forgot what it was. One... 140.200, maybe. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? It, yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. We're, we're playing on hard. Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there.
I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Rita. Bullet Storm? I've never even heard of that uh, before, Jordan. Bullet Storm? Alright, here we go. Craft up some more heals before we head out. Artifact collectible. Right, let's get those heals crafted real quick. The nerf volatiles with six to seven hits with decent equipment. You can handle one mid game. Reason I'm, I'm calling BS, man. Those things were absolute monsters, dude. There's no way. And they did so much damage. Oh, uh, this is main story right now. Yep. But the, the, the guns are throughout the whole game, guys. Yeah, so... Uh, like, the actual mission, though, I think you need to be on the second map. Like, the big city. I think that's where the actual... Uh, like, gun mission starts up. But, yeah, you don't need to, like beat the whole game or do anything crazy in order to get access to the guns. I mean, this is part two, but it's technically part one of the Hello? series uh, oh, Please, of, of the of the playthrough. Loud and clear. That means you must be close. I swam across the lake. So we <laughs> There's an entrance. The only one the GRE left when they sealed up the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Test out this uh, big hammer too, or the big. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, we don't actually have to fight these guys. We could probably go around, but God damn, that hit hard. This thing is fucking insane, dude. Oh. Absolutely shred your stamina, though. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, go so good. You don't have to do that, man. No, seriously, when you guys win stuff like that, I was just I was just busting balls, you know what I mean? I don't actually want you guys to give me your stuff. Let's see if we can keep this one a little more chill. Yeah, that axe hits different, chat. Yeah. See what this thing looks like. It's a big wooden mallet thing. Yeah. Well, goddamn. Oh, meat rocket with the 10 gifted man thank you so much dude i really appreciate it. everybody who receives one of those memberships welcome to the family make sure you get those hearts in the chat meat rocket thank you so much man hope you're having a good night i'm entering the tunnels hey can you hear me Is this a nest? It's a nest.
Are you all right? Fuck your bit me. A volatile. Lots of those fuckers in the sewers. You must get to the light quickly. Where's Mia? Uh, later. We have to move. <laughs> Resist it. It'll pass. <laughs> Just stay strong. Incognito with the 31 months, man. Thank you so much. Here you are. We've been looking for you. Just like that. One bite, chat. Yeah. One bite. Uh, seems dead to me. Didn't have it on him. Let's go. I don't have the key. I swear. <laughs> Is that UV? I do wish that you had control over volatile mode in this game like you did in, in, in uh, like Dead Island where you could like go infected mode. I feel like that's still one thing they should have added at some point. That would have been cool as fuck. Always getting hit, chat. Oh, that's a nice machete, though. Yep. So this is uh, teaching us about Perry. Whoa, William with the huge super chat, man. Thank you so much, dude. Love the good vibes this channel and uh, community send. And we're glad to have you here, brother. Seriously, thank you so much for that. And again, incognito, man. Thirty-one freaking months, bro. Thirty-one months, man. That is absolutely insane. All right. Let's see. channel and community send. Gurgle your shit like that, though. 
Pete, dude, thank you for the super chat, man. Loving the stream, man. Hope everyone's doing well. Hey, we're, I'm having a good day, man. Having a good day. We just unlocked a vault kick. Jump over staggered enemies. Okay. If our guy here is okay. Come. Who was that? There's no time. In my pocket. I left you something. What, what is this? A GRE. Loving the stream, key. mate. Hope everyone is doing well, the guys. Thumbs up. They found it. We cannot lose it. You, you were gonna tell me what happened to my sister. Where's Mia? You will go to Fish Eye. There, ask for a girl named the one. Give that to her. With it and her help, you'll learn. You will learn everything. Understand? Protect it. If Waltz gets his hands on it, the whole city, everyone will die. Waltz? Is Waltz here? He is. Oh, they're coming. You hear that? Renegades, run! We'll go together. Take this! That's a nice machete, man. Hey, right, let's go. What the fuck? There's our Spartan, man. holy shit, man. The Not veteran alive. survivor membership. That is huge tier, dude. Thank you so much for that, man. Parkour combat. So, yeah, this is the... Uh, Hold on, we gotta we gotta get that machete out now. The crude machete. Seriously, man, I really appreciate that, Spartans. Alright, here we go, guys. We got this, right? Oh, did I get a new armor piece? No. Show me what you got. <laughs> Jumping. Did I not hit the button right? Oh, I gotta click. Okay. And we busted the whole package. Yeah. 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 
Let's get the yes, fuck we'll out. definitely be playing Star Citizen Spartans um, when that new there. DLC drops. It's Walt. We have to run. But, but I'm looking for him. You we idiot. He'll kill you if he finds you. Dylan! Fuck. Get to the vent. Quick. This way. You first. What are you doing? Waltz can't get the GRE key, remember? What? Let me out! Fish high. Go on. Go! There's the traitor! Uh, hi, Dylan. <laughs> hey, fellas. <laughs> Let him go. Why did you betray me? This key is not yours. You can't... Where is it? Sorry. <sighs> Getting misty? Not really. You're only dying. Before zero hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I love them dearly. One day his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him. But he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later, I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. <laughs> Someone's here. In the vent! Get him! That was a hell of a fall right there. Holy shit, man. Spartan, dude, just dropped 15 more gifted memberships. Everybody who receives one of those, welcome to the family. Spartan, man, I really appreciate the love. Everybody, make sure you get those hearts in the chat. It's so kind of you, brother. And we got Carl. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, do I prefer this or Dead Island 2? Um, I mean, uh, I would say that this game overall is the better game. There's parts of Dead Island 2 I like better than Dying Light 2. Like, you know, the combat's pretty fun. Holy fuck, they're trying to grenade. Um, but ultimately, I'd say overall, I'd probably like Dead I or Dying Light 2 more. It's, a be it's just, There's more game here, you know what I mean? More story. Go, 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 go. <sighs> This reminds me of the sewers going from in Haran when you're trying to make it to Old City. Or the Old Town, whatever that's called. It is. 
Yeah, so a lot of people keep asking. They keep saying, oh, this is part two. I probably should have re, um, rephrased it. You know, I will. Why not? So I was trying to, uh, you know, it's like part two of us checking out the new update, but people are like... I'll do that, so alleviate any confusion. Spartan, seriously, I appreciate that, man. No, three mo motions. You do not have to donate that much money, man. That's a lot, brother. Who the fuck is this? He doesn't have a biomarker. A what? I Jesus Christ, dude. Whoa, Spartans just dropped 15 more gifted, dude. There's no way, man. He's moving. Hack on. Kill him, hack on. Kill him before I do it for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Breathe. Seems he hasn't turned. Seems? Hakon, I don't want that here. You've come back to us. Blink if you understand. Ah. Fuck my head. Oh. You were on the verge of turning, but UV light and inhibitors pulled you back. Uh, the bat helped too, of course. You're alive. Let's keep it that way. Guy almost kills us all, and you're chatting him up? Girls, relax. They're frightened. You almost destroyed their workshop. We need to move out. Can you walk? But I... I don't understand. Where are we going? To a safe place. I gotta get to the fisheye. The fisheye? Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell is that? Biomarker. It monitors the disease's progression in the dark. That's your ticket into the city. Without it, uh, stepping out of the light is sort of a lottery. You don't know when you turn. You need a biomarker, and I know where to find one. Come on. <laughs> Seriously, Spartans, thank you so much, man. Oh. He's turning again. Relax. Everything's under control. It'll be fine, hey? You're weak. Take a minute. Drink. Seriously? What next? Maybe we should draw him a bath. Sounds pretty cozy to me, ladies. Uh, maybe next time. Get banned, Hakon. <laughs> she adores me. Why are you helping me? Let's get to know each other and find out. You go first. Where'd you get all those? None of your business. You're careful. Good. You live longer. You a real pilgrim? Or did you steal that badge? I'm a... I was a pilgrim. 
an hour to dusk. I'm serious, Hakon. He's not staying the night here. Here. Your weapon and your radio. Not even a pilgrim could get by without that. Come on, let's go. Let's go, guys. Oh uh, yeah, I played this game before. No, yeah, we we uh we started a, a playthrough on my new game plus last episode, but I wanted to see how the new update felt on a fresh start, how the guns impact like an, er, the early game because I was I was really really high level. I had crazy good weapons already. I had all the stuff, uh, so I wanted to see kind of how the guns fit into the game, you know, from the start, especially getting our hands on that early game pistol and things like that. So that's what we're doing right now. If this is something that you guys want to continue seeing, I'm gonna ask, you know, maybe sort of, hey, do you guys want me to continue this fresh? playthrough or do you guys want me to start a whole or, or go back to the other playthrough and we'll go from there um but holy shit spartan dude you, too you're doing so much man that that is too much man that is so many gifted dude brother seriously man you don't have to do that but man you've done so much from the community already dude so many new members welcome to the family guys um the past like week has been absolutely insane you guys have been just going off with showing so much love to each other with all the gifted memberships um it, it really means a lot to me it means a lot to me guys hey hey no motions dude you don't have to do that man get that car fixed bro for sure dude drop 10 gifted on the channel dude you don't have to do that man I appreciate the love so much, dude. You guys really don't understand how much this means to me. And we got Incognito coming up with the super chat, brother. <laughs> Giving out memberships like Oprah. <laughs> Spartan, dude, with the super chat. Um, with the words so sad on tearing itself apart. Uh, it doesn't seem like such a bad thing to me to want to put a little back into... Hey, that, that is... That's some deep shit right there, man. Now, for real, dude. You really don't understand how much joy um, a gesture like that means not just to me you know what i mean like to, to everybody in the community like people really really appreciate getting those memberships um and it, it, it does it means a lot for you guys to sit there and show each other so much love big mega bulge <laughs> thank you for the super chat and also is thanking you for the membership now you guys are amu um, amazing seriously so awesome all right here we go Beautiful. Where's the fish eye? The canteen is there, in the center, past the chemical dumps. Uh, I need to get there. Too bad. Only way to go is through the tunnel. They protect it like a portal to the fucking Valhalla. Near impossible to get through. So, when we started the new game plus, I believe we started right after this mission. Um, so well, can we'll you help me? You seem to be familiar with the city. I've lived in this city since before the world got fucked up. I could help you, but you need a biomarker. You won't get far without. It. No, no, we already Where had our biomarker, from? actually. Pretty far, I guess. About two thousand kilometers. Oh shit! How the heck did you not get infected? That's easy. Didn't let him bite me. Here it's different. Here we're all infected. Heard of Haran? They isolated Villador too. They built walls. They locked us in. Turned out to be the thing that saved us. And how do you get a biomarker? Uh, you can't get them. Unless you know the right people. And I do. Let's go. By the way, I'm Hakon. I'm Aiden. Nice to meet you, Aiden. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> Over here. Oh, you do know the moves. I was in the military. Special unit? For seven years. I even liked it, except when I didn't. For insubordination, got blacklisted and they zeroed my bank account. Damn. I ended up driving a cab. 
Ouch! Now the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Fuck you! At least I got to know my way around the city. Oh, come on! <sighs> You're too weak. Without an inhibitor, you won't last. Didn't I smash everything in sight last time you gave it to me? That was just the first time. But then it gets better, if you survive, of course. Catch! You're telling me I could have died? If I hadn't given it to you, you would have died anyway. With the world so set on tearing itself apart, it don't seem like such a bad thing to me to want to put a little bit of it back together. What's a fire quote, man? For real. Right, let me see what weapons we got. Yep, we're good. Now, in this playthrough, I'm not going to use the pre-upgraded uh, Walking Dead weapons. I'm going to craft them myself. So, why are you helping me? I know people are generally scared of you guys. But one pilgrim saved my life. I was a pilgrim. Now I'm infected. It'll be much harder to travel. <laughs> then welcome to your new beginning, my friend. Check out this place. They're like treasure chests. Usually got good stuff in them. Check it out. I'll wait. I already did, dude. I already looted the hell out of this. Dude, did Spartan just drop another 10 gifted men? There's no way, dude. People hide a lot of things in places like this. In case someone can't make it back to a shelter before dark. Dude, out here seriously blessing the hell out of people, man. That is insane. Operation Green Chat, right guys? Alright, so I searched the route for loot. Is there any more? What am I missing? Up oh, yeah, there, the chest there, big chest. What's that? Crystals. Someone must have stashed them here. They formed after the chemicals were dumped on us. Some believe they delay infection. Folk superstition. So you don't collect them? Sure I do. Superstitious people pay a fortune for them. And I am always happy to take someone's cash. There's one specific chest I'm after. Come on, let me show you. Come on, come on. Stop. PKs. So, you have an army here? The peacekeepers. They treat people like that too. Watch out for them. They guard the tunnel you want to go through. Hey, no motions with the super chat. Assalamualaikum, bro. Two hour drive tomorrow. Hey, man, I wish. Hey, drive safe. Seriously, I, I I appreciate the love. It means the world to me, man. I hope you have a great rest of your night too, man. And Carl Marsh with the super chat. Great community, uh, great content community. Thanks, bro. I, I appreciate you being here. You guys are crazy, man. You guys are crazy. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, I'll proceed with caution. Good. Though it might not help. The PK are a pain. 
Seriously riling up the bazaar, folks. The bazaar is a box of dynamite, one spark away from blowing up. Yeah, we are in the process of working on some new um, member emotes, too. And I gotta, I'm working on some new badges. Going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure. Follow me. Show me how it's done, dude. Ooh, that was cool. It's getting dark, man. Almost there. I hope there are no surprises. Dude, the crazy thing too is, guys, they they changed up some of the missions. It's getting dark. Uh, or well, when they changed up the nighttime, right? It changed up some of the missions. So there's a bunch of the story missions that take place like semi at night that used to really not be a big deal, but ever since the new night changes, oh, dude, absolutely insane. So <laughs> they're so hard. They are about to wake up. Quickly, open the chest. Let's do it. In return, we'll get your biomarker. Fuck. Thieves. Wait. No, 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 leave it. Mess up that lock and everything's fucked anyway. Enough for a biomarker? Where'd you get that? I've been all over this city more than most, but even I haven't seen working GRE equipment for years. I can't say much, but a former GRE scientist, Dylan, gave it to me. A guy named Waltz killed him. And before he died, Dylan gave me the key to keep it from Waltz. It contains important information, apparently. I hope to find out more at the fisheye. We'll have to see, won't we? <sighs> Fuck me. We took too long. Plan B. Run like hell. Find the UV lamp. The bazaar. We can make it. Follow me. Quick. UV light. So this is teaching you about the night timer. They're close. Go on. Stand in the light. Uh, Hakon, uh... Oh, come on! Open up now! Hakon, a howler's coming. Oh, fuck. Biomarkers. There's no time. We've got a howler on our asses. Biomarkers? Didn't you hear? Behind us! I said biomarkers. Here. And his? He's with me. I have to see his biomarker. Let us just inside the door at least. I need to see his biomarker. How about some electronics, huh? Girl. Open up! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you piece of... The... Quick! 
They almost got us. Don't go back. Run. Faster. There's more and more of the maiden. You gotta, out. you gotta go, we'll dude. Be safe there. I'm like trying to follow him, but he's fucking not running all the way. Yeah. Killian, it's me. Open up. No friends here, huh? Killian, keep them busy. Killian! Fuck! Killian! Come on! Killian! Trip over my body this morning and get killed! Asshole! Stop them! A lot of them. You pay for this one day. Come on, Hakan. Oh, he did it. I doubt we're done. Trouble loves company. Hakan, get us in there. I'm trying. Kill you. I know you're there. <laughs> Is that all of them? I think so. Help me. Damn it, Gillian. Should have waited a while longer. Almost did. Didn't want to clean your guts off my doorstep in the morning. They've left, so can you. Oh, come on. Stop being such a bastard already. Look at this. Where did you... That's rare. Invite us in, or it'll get even more rare. Who is this? I'm a pilgrim. Haven't been here long, have you? How did you get into town? I'll tell you everything. Just let us in. I waited for a pilgrim once. He was supposed to... Ah, oh, forget it. Doesn't matter anymore. What are you up to, hack on her? Huh? I gave him an inhibitor. He survived. Are you mad? He needs a biomarker. Don't have one. Bullshit. Seriously. <sighs> Motherfucker. The hospital then. I was hoping to avoid it. Always looking for an easy way, huh, hack on? I just need a UV lamp. I'll come back for you. Hold tight. Hack on. Why are you helping him, huh? Remember when we used to help people? Me? Sure. But I doubt you do. Stay here and rest by the lamp. Don't listen to that dumbass. <sighs> Idiot. We used to help people, remember? Sure, I remember, you moron. <laughs> All right, so we might get access to the uh the mother of mercy holding one. But you could cook. Everyone around you said that's what See if we get access to the gun yet. Nope, won't let me get it yet. What you should do, cook. 
Well, let me get the gun yet. Funny. Did you make it? Almost. Biomarkers are at the GRE hospital. I'll be there shortly, but to get the job done, I need you to join me. Where should I go? With Killian's door to your back, you'll be pointing right at it. Hold the line. Uh, on this playthrough, if we do play all the way through it, we're going to be siding with the survivors. I went with the PKs last time, and the whole bazaar got fucking shredded, man. Okay, so let me see if this now allows me to grab it. Nope. So we, I'm thinking maybe we got to finish the, um, I'm thinking we got to finish the, whatchamacallit, the, uh, intro. Fuck nighttime, dude. I ain't trying to go out at night, dude. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't. We have to do this at night? Oh, well, yeah, a hospital. Once I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? <sighs> Once I was taking my second wife to the hospital never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? Lock is broken. Don't worry. Find the old bus. A bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. You can use it to get inside. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. the main entrance. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lobby. Hey! This way. Big building, huh? GRE took over quite a few of these for drug research. When it all got fucked, they grabbed research volunteers. They paid them lots of money. What was the result? A lot of shit. Just a little more. Oh, what the hell? There we go. We don't have much time. Stay close to me. <sighs> Yeah, this place is probably ridiculous volatile nest during during the daytime. 
Door's locked. You know how to open locks? Sure. Turn the key. What if you don't have a key? Hakon, I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lockpicks out of that. Alright, so let's go ahead. Craft up some lockpicks. I forgot you could do lockpicks right in your inventory. What was it? We'll do 10. Ah, good work. You didn't lie. You know your stuff. I had no other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Graphics were updated, Sim. That won't work. Shh, let's go. This way. Dark zone in front of us. Keep quiet. Hell. Eddie, come on. Eddie, my baby. Eddie. Mia? Eddie, where are you? That's a bad idea, Mia. If it was a good one, it wouldn't be fun. What are you doing? Mia, not on the wall. Stop talking and give me your hand. Everything okay? Yeah. Are you sure? God. Talk to me. This hospital. I've been in one like this before. A GRE facility. Well, there are a few of them around the city. I'm having these... these memories. The person I'm looking for is Mia. She's my sister. I told you about Waltz before. <laughs> Mentioned something. Yeah. I don't know. It's all mixed up in my head. Uh, you suppressed the memory. Like I did of my third wife. Uh, look, I'm sure the infection ain't helping. Chin up. We'll find the marker and clear out. Let's go. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, freaking, uh... It's so crazy to see how bad Aiden had it. Or how mixed up he had it. <laughs> Shh. This 
Sleeping Beauties. Yeah, we have to walk past them. If you crouch and move slowly, they shouldn't notice you. Get too close and you're done for. You probably know that already. I do, yeah. That. Chemicals. Nasty shit. When they lost control of the virus, the GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm hmm. Yes. Why did you mention him? Because I remember he was doing some kind of experiment. <sighs> he wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador, with walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Aiden. But... Well, the world is full of shitheads. The all the goodies, chat. Like to get some upgrades right off the bat. All right. Be careful. It's not stable. Come on. Wind out of him, chat. He was gasping. You alive? I guess so. Can you climb up? Sure, just give me a sec. Hurry. We're running out of time. I can't make it. Wait. I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Inhibitors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white, green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back. All right, got it. We 
go kill me. Her wallet over. Don't move. You can handle that. I know. I've seen this fucker. I'm infected in here. Tell me we can't reach through there and unlock this shit? Scared me up. Yeah, me too. And I'm Wait, the zombies can actually see the flashlight? Don't be a chicken, AD. What if the doctor sees us? He won't. Besides, you'd have to catch us too. Come on, don't back out now. <laughs> don't be a chicken, AD. Get it. And we, so we got our first thing of gear here. So we got the camo breeches. Uh, these are good for ranger class, which does nothing for us currently because we have no range weapons whatsoever. Okay, so we're going to go with stamina, obviously. We have no choice right now. Took the inhibitor. Fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'm ready. <sighs> Oh, 
my boy go? Hack on. Hurry. I found the markers. Gotta loot, chat. You gotta loot, all right? Bill Glover, what's going on? Thank you so much for the super chat. How you doing tonight, man? We're, uh, we're looting up the goodies right now. Infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? How about that? On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. You're about to turn. Get into the night fast. Oh, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a Pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. I roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I haven't thought about that. Well, that's odd. Well, there'll be time for that, once I find her. Once you find her? Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me, right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Pfft, fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. We're gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. Should be able to get our gun. I'm hoping. Uh, Dylan with the five gifted, man. Thank you so much, guys. We've had so many new members come to the channel. Over the past few days, it's been absolutely crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. And quiet nightmare dropping the gifted on the channel. I appreciate the love, guys. All right, 
right, so we'll grab these UV shrooms for right now. Poppy. We gotta remember, so where is this on the map? Okay, so this top part here, because Poppy's actually quite tough to find. But we know it's right on the edge of this here. But a lot of the groves don't have it, and if they do, they'll have like one or two. We just got like five or six right there. Here. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. See the church? That's where the howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. There uh -huh. are. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. So we gotta find a... There we go. So now we're in the open world. We got a safe zone here. So I believe this is exactly where we started New Game Plus. We just got a bunch of new stuff. Let me uh, check my... Pill hook. That's pretty good damage on that pill hook, actually. Or the bill hook. Pill hook. I'm such a fucking idiot, dude. Yeah, so the, the bill hook... And then coins. Thought we just got throwing knives. Oh no, I think we got the ability to craft throwing knives. Okay, so yeah, we don't actually have them. So let's do up some throwing knives. They're the only ranged weapons you get early game, so. Do up a handful of those. I don't wanna I don't wanna use too much of my scraps on them though, not yet. Nobody. This group. They hold violent prize fights here in the city. But that's just a cover. What they're really up to is way more sinister. You see, they plan to release a chemical into old Villador. It's a stimulant their fighters already use. Turns them into fearless, merciless motherfuckers. But it would kill regular folks. There's only one way to stop them. And that's to infiltrate them. Yeah. Qualify for the tournament and get your ass inside Carnage Hall. I'll find you there. Yeah, so that's DLC. I definitely advise you to wait for that. Alright, so we made it to the safe zone. Let's check our stash here. So this, we're going to break down a lot of this crap. Okay. 
Now, these are those Walking Dead weapons. Like I said, I'm not going to claim these ones at this time just because they are really, really powerful. Uh, now, you can craft these on your own, too, uh, without getting the already upgraded ones. But let's see. Can we get the handgun? Yes, I want to get Boom. So we got our handgun. And we got ammo. We got ammo. Oops. We go. We got a gun, baby. Uh, controls, key bindings. Really? I want to let me aim the gun. Is there a, is it a skill, guys, to be able to aim down sights? No. Or is it because I haven't unlocked the... Oh, maybe it is a skill. I'm using the Darker Knights one, Riza. I think that that is this chat, the precise aiming. I think that's a. To, uh. To aim down sights. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm hitting the, the button right now and it's not. Okay, let's see what we got going on around us. Yeah, it's a forsaken uh, store here. This guy out. Oh, 
He's gonna turn. He's gonna go viral, right? Yep. Fresh files are so weird, dude. Like when people first go viral, man, they they like they still like talk and shit. It's so wicked. Dude, he's got some f nice weapons right there. So we got the crude. Um, yeah, this dirty cleaver is nasty. These we could just break down. Yeah, now that you can repair weapons, you don't have to hold on to shit at all. Nothing like like before. Yeah, this one's just better, so we'll get rid of this bill hook. Uh, what's going on? How you doing? Uh, it's good, man. The gameplay is feeling good. Virals. So let me see. What was the damage numbers on the gun? Seventeen. So it's still it's it's still quite low. Let me, let's go give it. A, let's go give it a shot. Literally. I know it's gonna be loud. I just want to see how it feels damage wise. Not bad. Two headshots when we put him down. Not bad. So we, we started this up yesterday. Aiden's about to break his neck. Goddamn head's gonna fall off. Look out, look at his chest. Look how high he looks, man. Yeah, as well fall backwards, you look like that's the normal 
looking up, and that that's like no, Chad. <laughs> hey, watch where you're going. What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Like he hit like the normal looking up, right? Like like he hit normal looking up. Then he kind of looked up like real high, and then he just kept going, dude. Just you have to get it right this time. Hey kid, aren't you that pilgrim? Hey, yeah. So, Craftmaster here. Oh, uh, we can repair you weapons. Come to the right place. So this one needs. Wow, it's quite expensive, man. Actually, to and it requires weights to repair this. Yeah. So as you guys can see, there's resource requirements in order to fix your weapons, which feels good. Uh, we can also craft weapons. We only have access to this a uh, one-hand slashing weapon right now. Whoa, shurikens. Were these always in the game? I don't. I, I know they had the the throwing knives. I don't remember them being shurikens though. How much money do I have? Uh, we got 160. Let me buy all of his. Now we'll be all right. Thank you. And come again. Let's see what he has. He's got some pretty decent weapons here, some good gear. I'm not I'm not gonna spend any money right now. I just kinda wanna scout the shops, see what they have. Uh we do have miscellaneous stuff we can sell though. Sell all valuables. There we go. Now we're kicking around on some with a little bit of money. Let's let's do some missions around here so we can make some money. This is the mission we did problem. last time. Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Guy needs electric parts. Alberto's gonna kick me out. Do they have weapons for the perfect parry? Oh, uh, what do you mean? I, I, I mean, you can What's parry this test with... about? Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. Genius. So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. I think this is where we get our first Nothing weapon to do mod. With goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure, but it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic. See all our looting, baby. Heaven must have sent you. We already had the parts. Yeah, here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. So that's what happens, Sam, when you when you're when you're a loot goblin. You already got the loot that you needed for the missions before you even start the missions. Uh, I've been here and there. 
you know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station. Everything all right? No. It's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, uh, a uh, craft master? Really? Oh my! I didn't God. kill that goat. Thank you. Thank you. He killed the goat. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. Nice, yeah, so we just unlocked weapon mods. Just because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. Damn, Chad, you heard it there first. Just because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. All right, here we go. So we can, uh... Yeah, we can add some sparks to it. Why not? They use a lot of our resources, but if you got no one to lean on. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access. Some say the renegades are about to attack. Um, that's when you know you hit rock bottom. Okay, we got another mission in here we could do. Pilgrim? Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You sure he didn't blame me after he started renting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Poor dude. So then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You just said you didn't sell water, dude. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen, he lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. 
Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also this? on Hanfield, a few buildings down. See what I gotta Something's deal with? Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. You see what I gotta deal with, guys? So, this is actually, the side quest is actually level two. I'm only level one. We should be okay though, right? It's only a one level difference. Here, holy crap. How to get into this one? There we go. Oh, shit. Code. Zach, how you doing? I didn't I didn't kill that goat chat. I, I didn't have nothing to do with that man. I literally just turned on the power like he told me to all right <sighs> Safe code How do I check the shit I pick up? I don't remember how to check the collectible. Oh, there it is. Uh, safe code is one zero one. So one zero one. Nice. Okay, so we unlocked another safe here. Power right there. Zombies are fucking everywhere, dude. Ready. Whoa, what was that? I'm thinking somebody shot at me, dude. Look, an arrow or something. Oh, 
Hans. Open, 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 open. Hans, you there? No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. God damn it. Yo, that shit is crazy, dude. What the... Who's lost mass? Mad XP, too. Inhibitor container detected. What the hell? Stop! Don't drink that water! <coughs> water? <coughs> this isn't water. <coughs> oh. That moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. 
I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. Got that good stuff, guys. Beating it, bro. Are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> So she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Right, so he gave us some leather. Okay, Marco was in here. <laughs> I just happened to run through his building, dude. <sighs> Great. Another water thief. Oh, that's fucking Just what dude. I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. So I don't have... Let me see. What can I craft? Anything? Nah. 
Don't really have anything I'll be able to use against the infected like that. I don't even have the UV flashlight yet. Damn, there's a lot of them. You see that fucking throw knife go? up some more of those those throwing knives were hitting different chat like what the hell i take a lot of my scraps though I ain't never used a throwing knife like that before. Those shits were absolutely insane. They were never that good, man. safe now what's what the this, story with the water i wonder if this guy still goes country um, so you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims Wait, fucked up now we're safe gotta be a fucking criminal or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virus. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? An accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. So, you deliberately poisoned the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. 
Yeah, but what about Julian, bro? Don't blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? You know what, chat? Out of three playthroughs, I've never sided with this guy. I always side with Julian. Ever. So, you know, I'll be like, you know what, dude? I get it. It, it was an accident. No, I don't know. He's fucked up, chat. Yeah, I just don't like him either, man. But I kind of want to see what happened. Uh, if you side with him, you know what I mean? That's okay. Cyber. It's a deal. Here's your flower. And here's something extra. There it is. That extra with a fucking shitty ass weapon, dude. Who knows? Maybe Julian will weasel his way out of it. Or they'll kill him. Probably. Kid, what the fuck are you doing, bro? It's a nighttime mission. I'll have to come back for that. Oh, we're not gonna make it. We're not. Gonna... Oh, fuck. Power. I'm not even going to the right area. What the fuck? Oh, wait. Did the mission end? I didn't have to go back and, and, and say anything about Julian? Damn. So that means Julian might just get, get the rip, chat. <laughs> Julian might actually just get, catch a rip. Yeah. <sighs> 
I need to see if he's uh if they killed him. He's a murderer. Aiden, tell them. Tell them Marco poisoned the water. Stop blaming others for your crimes. Aiden knows the truth. What are you waiting for, Ed? Hold on. This is serious business. So let's hear what Aiden has to say. Bevan's husband, Luke, he's dead. Julian says you know the truth. So tell us what you know. What's in it for me to say anything? A clear conscience? I thought I could expect more from a pilgrim. Aiden, please, don't make this a negotiation. A man has died. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of feel bad, chat. I kind of feel bad, dude. I visited Julian's supplier. There's nothing wrong with his water. I told you, string him up. But, but I didn't poison the water. Guys, Aiden. Get him out of my sight, Ed. Stop, please, don't do this to me. Let's go, Julian. You can plead your case to the council. Find something you like in the bazaar. I'm not an opera fan, but I do appreciate some classy carnage. You think they're gonna kill him, Jet? <sighs> I, I do feel a little bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie, dude. all right guys we're gonna end this here though we're gonna end this one here again i had a blast with this uh i love this damn game and um you know with the update and stuff the gun feels good obviously we haven't used it that much for early game i only got a little bit of ammo um but the gun feels good it was it was about two headshots on hard so if you're playing on like normal difficulty you'd probably kill the zombie in one shot with a headshot uh, but because i am playing on hard the zombies are quite a bit tankier um but yeah it was definitely a good ass time guys so remember uh let me know w w which one you guys prefer uh continuing this playthrough where you know we're kind of playing even you know all or, or going back to the other playthrough where i had everything unlocked um let me know which one is a bit more enjoyable for you guys you guys can let me know in the chat let me know in comments actually drop a comment guys drop a comment down below after the stream is over let me know which way you prefer all right and because it'll be easier for me to tally up the comments and see what you guys say all right, but thank you so much. I love you all. Uh, make sure you guys smash that like button on your way out. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, you all have a great rest of your night. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.